Hi guys, welcome to another Photoshop editing tutorial. I'm your host, Rena Damien. In this tutorial, I will show you a quick and easy way to add pores and texture to the skin to make it look more natural. And turn it from this to this. I begin by creating a new layer. I will call that texture. I'll go to edit, fill, 50% gray, normal, 100% opacity, hit OK. Now change the blending mode to overlay, go to filter, filter gallery, go on texture and choose texturize. Make sure you choose sandstone for your texture and I'm going to scale this up all the way to 200 which is the maximum relief I'm going to go to 9 and the light I'm going to go to top right because that's where the light source is coming from in this portrait and make sure that invert is selected and hit OK as you can see the texture is looking very extreme and we don't want it to be that visible so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the opacity and I'm just going to slowly move it down stay at 25% for now so I, I zoom in just to see how strong it looks I'm probably gonna move it down and go up the slider slightly I'll just leave it at 15% I don't want the texture to be visible all over the portrait so what I'm going to do is create a layer mask and I'm going to invert that by hitting the control I and what that does is completely hide the effects that we had just created. And we are going to brush over the areas that we want to bring it back. Now I'm going to select a brush. Make sure it's on white. And I'm going to increase the opacity to 30% and reduce the flow to 10%. Just make sure you choose a soft brush. And I'm going to enlarge it a bit. Now I'm going to brush over the areas that I want to reveal the texture. I'm going to start to dab on her cheek. I'm going to increase the opacity to 40%. And just dab on the areas that I want to reveal it. A little bit on her chin. And a bit on her forehead as well. Now, if you feel that it's a bit too much, what you can do is just change the brush to black. You can do that by hitting the X key on your keyboard. And what that does is change the brush. So I'm going to go to the black brush and just dab around the areas that I want to remove it. And I want to go back to my white brush and just reveal a bit more. I want to increase it on her chin just a little bit and just over her upper lip. And now just increase it to see how much I want it to be visible. That's a bit too much. Just reduce that again. And then remove some of the texture on her forehead as that doesn't look so natural. And remove a bit of her cheek as well. Add a bit more here and here especially on the highlighted areas, as that's where you normally see more of the pores. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is create a stamp visible layer, and that's a merge of all the layers that we have just worked on. And we do that by pressing Control, Shift, Alt, E. And that's where we're going to sharpen the image. I'm gonna change that to sharpen, hit okay. And I'm going to go to filter, 
sharpen, smart sharpen. And I'm just going to move that down and bring the sliders down and go up slowly and slightly just to see how much of the texture you want to show. Okay, that's too much. Leave that at 100% and the radius go down. Hit OK. Now zoom it in and remove the sharpen to see what it looked like before sharpening the image and after. So let's look at what the image looked like before we added the texture on the skin. The skin looked really soft and very painterly so you couldn't really see much of the texture and we added the texture layer which made it look a bit more natural by adding pores to the skin. And adding the sharpening layer just gives more depth to the image. I'm going to reduce the sharpening effect. So I feel that it's a bit too strong. I'm going to go down all the way to zero and then increase it slowly to see how sharp I want it to look. I think I will leave it at 50%. That looks good. So this is the before and this is the after. Before, after. And we just zoom in so that you can see it clearer. There we go. Before, after. Okay, so that concludes my tutorial for today. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you next time.